<laughs> now, how many of you woken up this morning, grabbed a cup of... Mine's empty now, I'm going to lodge a complaint. Um, so my tea's empty. But how many of you sat down with a cup of tea, got on the internet, trying to grab a bargain? Well, it is, of course, Black Friday. It's migrated over from the United States. It's been around for a year or two now. But it does mean that today is set to be the biggest day of shopping in Britain. One of the busiest places you would expect would be Oxford Street in central London. Joe Tidy's there. How busy is it, Joe? Not very busy, actually. I mean, I'm told that actually in this area, Oxford Street, places like this in Debenhams, they expect people to be a steady stream throughout the day, and this evening it'll pick up. The doors are open now, open an hour early today. We had about, I don't know, 20 people who all poured in very excitedly, but um, the shop is filling up, people trying to grab some of these bargains, they're doing sort of 10% off, 20% off, the fragrances apparently that's their big thing, uh, they'll pay the VAT on that, all to try and get people in to spend those pounds. So well, let's speak to, um, we've got uh, the boss of, what you're the boss of Oxford Street I suppose, aren't you? Um, and what, 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 is the, what is the importance of, um, of, of, the, of Black Friday, Jace? Well it's hugely important for us here in the West End, we expect 100 million to go through Christmas really gets going from this weekend right through until Boxing Day. Some fantastic discounts for shoppers this weekend, up to 50% off across Bond, Oxford and Regent Street. And here in Debenhams, there are people kind of trying to make use of all these deals. You've got lots of staff making sure that they seal the, the, uh, the, the offers nice and visible. How important is it for you guys to get as much as you can through the door today? Because it's not actually just today, it's all weekend and actually through into next week. It's like a black five days now, so yeah. right through until next Tuesday. I think retailers have got lots of great promotions going on across five days. I think that's great for shoppers as well, because they're obviously working and the weekend to come. But as I say, a very important weekend, and we expect about £200 million pounds to go through the tools in the next three days. We haven't seen any of those big scrums that we get elsewhere, have we? Why is that? I think the West End is a different type of shopper, and I think because it is spread out over a number of days, but I think also retailers are looking at different promotions. It's right across fragrance, fashion, and electrical goods. So I think more excitable shoppers out there, but certainly uh, not the crowds perhaps we saw in the last couple of years at some of those other discount parks. Great. Thank you very much, Jace Till. There. The, uh, the Black Friday Madness got to me, and I forgot your name, so sorry about that. <laughs> but if this is all too much for you, then there's actually an antidote to this campaign as well. There's a, there's a Facebook campaign to get people to not spend a penny today. So uh, if you don't want any of this, you can always do that. Uh, yeah. Joe, thank you. I still think Joe's going to go and do a little bit of shopping today, despite whatever his wife is telling him. Uh, let's uh, talk to Dr. Thomas Webb, who's here now looking at the, you know, the psychology of, of all of this. And see, I'm sort of with those people who say you don't need to do it. That people, are, people are getting sucked in to buy stuff they don't need just because it's, it's cheaper. Is, is that fair? I think that is fair. There was a, a study by Michael Kyrgios at the Australian National University and he found that people who um, struggle to control their spending believe that opportunities to buy things are more unique than they actually are. They think this is a, not once in a lifetime but a really you know, a rare opportunity to get this fabulous deal when actually we know that you can get a lot of really good deals all year round and it's no longer Black Friday, it's Black several days. Mm. So is the message to sort of relax, because I must admit my inbox is flooded with discounts. I had a cheeky look at a website earlier and it said, we're very busy, come back later. And all of a sudden I thought, oh, well, I'm not going to get the discount. Maybe I should go in store later on yeah. instead of you, trying online. Yeah, I think you need to think about what you want to do. If you want to get your Christmas presents early, then take the opportunity. Use Black Friday. But what I would say is, you know, if you're trying to limit the amount you spend or you're trying to keep in control of your finances, don't get tempted. Don't let yourself think this is a once a, a rare opportunity. The, the, the problem is with all of this, uh, I guess, is that people with the least amount of money in society are those people who most need a bargain and therefore are most likely in some respects to get sucked in. I mean, it's, it's almost easy prey. Yes. Um, yeah, I think, that, I think that's true. Which is a, 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 yeah, it seems a real shame that we, is it, are people being taken advantage of by this, or is it our own fault for, in effect, having, having that sheep mentality? <laughs> well, there's certainly a herd mentality around Black Friday. Um, what we're studying as part of the Institute of Inertia, which I chair, is this idea that um, people have a sense, there's a sense of inertia to people's actions. So 
on Black Friday, people follow the pack. There's a sense of momentum. They all mm. follow each other and they're talking to each other about getting the best deals. And perhaps they're not thinking about what's, what they actually want to get out of it, what's, what's right for them. I think right. what a lot of people didn't understand last year were the scenes we saw in some of the supermarkets that were discounting big ticket items. They're called like plasma TVs and games consoles. And people were actually scrapping in the aisles, like tearing things out of each other's hands. And a lot of people watching on Sky News just couldn't understand that kind of mentality. Yeah. So I think sometimes people need to step back and think, crikey, what, what's happening to me here? Yeah. Is this really what, what, I'm, what I want? Yeah. yeah, well, that's what people do. So if you, can, if you need about, you know, if, you, if you're looking for a bit of shopping and you get it cheaper, all well and good, but don't, as uh, Dr. Webb says, join that mentality. Good to talk to you, adding a bit of sense to all the chaos which we may see today. Thank you.